Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Hidden Blood Right. Uh, so this door I think should still be. Whoa. Whoop. Well. Yeah, that blows up. Crazy. All over, please. There we go. God. Would a guardrail be too much to ask? Please, brave, brave orcs of the Iron Legions or whatever you're called. Ugh, for God's sakes. I'm just having nothing but problems down here. I've never seen myself throw that mag before. Cool. Okay. So we can't get through that way. Right, right. Uh oh. Okay. Well then. I know there's some healing potions on my way back, so maybe we just go back this way. Hmm. The lever half is broken. It's nowhere to be seen, in fact. Well, that's a shame. Um, that's probably what the objective is, huh? Can't get through that way? Okay, so yeah, the top of that is a uh, smoke and open crater. The doors. Oh, that's awesome. The shield's on top of the door. Radical. So I'm full on these, and I got more the more to use. So why don't we burn through a couple of these, huh? Iron key. Okay. Who goes there? Fragfire. Oh, so this is a staircase? Yeah, I didn't even notice. I think about this. Oh my god, it just goes to here. Duh. Stupid. I'm stupid. This game is not stupid. It's pretty radical, in fact. Haven't been in here yet. And it's freezing, presumably giving me a save? Alright. Dude. Wait, I could have just scrolled this way. Duh. If you're reading this, the orc trader has fulfilled her task. The trader's an orc, then, huh? Your duty is to finish off the dwarven survivors that have not been affected by the poison. It'll be easy to tell which is by the color of the tongue and skin in a later stage. Once the healthy ones are dead, dump the tainted ones in the dungeon below the fortress and lock it down. Don't visit back or let anyone else do so unless you wish for death. Mm. Poison them. Coward tactics. Should have reloaded. Iron key. Is this the... Is this that one guy's, like, house in Fallout 1? It's like the final boss area that you blow up? Dwarven Society, introduction, summary of the guilds. Of course, you gotta have guilds. Dwarves always schism into factions. Priests are not the only one to assist the Dwarven Lord. Among his advisors are the masters of the four guilds. The practical knowledge of are, less, are essential in holding up Dwarven Society. Blacksmith Guild is minor smiths and jewel crafters, all able to turn the lifeblood of dry rock into weapons, armors, ornaments, and various mechanisms and other mechanical wonders. The Carpenters Guild fosters woodcutters, locksmiths, leather workers, and tinkerers. Able to shape the forest into a precise tool. Their ballista and catapults are feared across all battlefields. Stonemason trains master builders and engineers. Be it wells, keeps, towers, or bridges, the singers of stone are responsible for the backbone of our lives and society, as well as our advancements. The Brewers Guild spreads our name across the land with their chefs, healers, and alchemists. It's also known they dabble in the less honorable art of espionage, but their skill may be needed at times. Did they betray? I hope not. 
I bring this up maybe every time it gets brought up because everyone does it. Yow. Excuse me, sir. But everyone always makes dwarves all the same, you know? Hmm. Like dwarves all act completely identical. I've spent I've said my spiel on this in my um, Shadow of Mordor playthrough. But yeah, dwarves are all always the same. Backfire can cool. Tells the brother Bernard, brother Bernard in hell. Uh, yada yada yada, and a search for dry water and cold flame. Brother Bernard hath found himself lost in the pits of hell. The boiling tar and pungent sulf did not bear well with him, but alas, he could find the way back. Not. He daren't ask for directions from the sneering devils, lest they would trick him ever further. Our brother hath pondered well over how he could elude the rotten place. Thus he hath pulled a string from his satchel and began to measure hell left and right, hammering stakes into the ground. The lord of the devils, who had been lurking within a puddle aside, would endure watching brother Bernard no longer, as the seed of curiosity crawled hastily into his veins. What dost thou wish to do here, fool? Why art thou measuring my fiefdom? asked the trickster. Why I am wishing to build a temple would exclaim the crafty brother. Upon hearing his words, the devil's eyes hath grown red with angst. The sharp with whistle he would urge his fellow trickster to grab brother, grasp Brother Bernard and throw him out. So hath he escaped the fiery hell. Cool. Good job, Brother Bernard. <laughs> Pro gamer move. Uh, so is that everything up here? What are these? They're loading me up with those. That for free. Iron. Iron. Hmm. Axe key. Okay, so where are we going next then? Lock from the inside. Oh, but the top exploded, so maybe I can hop onto it. Uh, possibly. Is that one of those little guys? Sure is. Damn it. Dude, not cool. Ironing it. I can't pick up this vial of healing, so I must be full, right? Yep. I'm happy to use one if I'm going to be full, because I would have missed it anyway. Okay, so then... Oh, is that the only door? I thought this was wider. Optical illusion, I guess. Cool. Um, I got the iron ink, so I can go here and do something with it. Oops. bar of hot iron. Hot hearth to the anvil? Yeah. Oh, I'm making a new lever for upstairs. And quench it. Iron liver. Oh, good. One of those. Some more goodies. Yeah, I guess, like, so far, my only real problem with Head and Blood Ride is that, like, I don't have enough of it, you know? Like, I want more guns, and I want more enemies, and I want more cool shit to happen. Okay, lever pulled, lever pulled. So that means that those are lowering. So now I can go into the antechamber. Karen skip. Axe key. So the axe key lets me enter here. Game saved. Dead dwarf stuff behind the door there. Sick dwarf coughs. Oh man. 
This sucks. Okay, healing potion, mead, sausage, and bread. Hell yeah. Oh man, I didn't want to go in here. Pickaxe. Oh, there's like a a sack. Grody. I wanted to explore that area more. I didn't mean to fall down here. The corruption is real. So I wonder is this ward like not stopping the corruption? Iron key, cool. <laughs> Door tries to speak, but he ends up coughing. His dry tongue bears a slight purple tint. Ah, we read about that. His brows narrow as he mimics a drinking gesture and points above. We'll get him a drink then. We use that lever model. Would want you guys to strain yourselves. Okay, so. So we fell in here and we didn't get... What the hell happened to me? Why did I get so scared? Very rarely do I like jump like that in, in general. I'm gonna load that. Uh, 1658, yeah. Okay. Close to the Iron Division campaigns. Earth key door. Cool. Okay, now we'll drop down here on purpose. We'll swim up on purpose. Hmm? Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just aiming at the wrong thing. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay. I think we're all good then. In this room, at least. So we'll head back upstairs, which is... Oh, yeah, you got these. Back upstairs, which is here? Yeah. Buenos dias. Oh yeah, are we on episode 9 now? Hit the wrong button, didn't I? Clean me. Okay. Normal chimney. Looks pretty standard. Okay. Oh, that's a ladder. Can I? Thank you. Uh, mead cellar. They mentioned this, though I don't remember. A mug of dragon brew. Okay, so now I guess we backtrack. Works for me. Maybe this isn't efficient, but I do want to save that dwarf as quickly as I can. I like dwarves. 
Just getting lost in their interior design here. Right, skip. Um. Right, this way to the jail. Down here. Not in here. Here? No. Maybe it's no. Yeah. Glug, glug, glug. Nice. So are we fading out so we can swap that sprite out for something? Hmm. Andrick says, Ah, I hit the spot. I can hear it me pur I can feel it purging me veins. Ugh. Thought she could do old Andrick in, did she? <laughs> Nephril or whatever her name was. I've seen far worse than her poison, though there's nothing that ever made me see horned blue demons in orcish garb wandering about. Rasp laughter. Ah, it was one of your witching sisters, called herself Lith. We mentioned her in a note as well. Came by a few days ago. Snake must have slipped something into her well. Almost everyone here was complaining about stomach cramps by the end of the day. Hmm. I saw them last screaming in pain, dark veins shifting under their skin. Oh, they put the corruption in there. The well was what I jumped into. Then one of your lancers showed up at the fortress. Ah, and she was fuming. So that she was going to burn that traitor alive and rush to the ele elevator. Again, I hope she's okay. She couldn't aid us. Tried everything to help the sick ones. Nothing halted the poison. Hmm. Then the bleeding cultist appeared out of nowhere. The ward went down, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It was a slaughter. Killed everyone who could hold an axe and threw the sick ones into the well. Would have thrown me down there if the taint hadn't had the taint claim me sooner. My blood is slowing it down. What's up with your blood? You have an ancient, you know, Barutogan bloodline? Hmm. Listen, lass. You seem to be an honorable individual. Why don't you take this elevator key and give the traitorous wench and her lackeys what they'd be asking for? Go quick. Oh, cool. <coughs> I do it myself if I have my strength back. Don't worry about me. Find the filthy witch. Uh, uh. Hmm. I don't know where the cultist bastards came from, but thanks for slaying them. So I guess this was like, it used to be the well, right? Oh, it looks like a face. So did they just dump... Like, this, I imagine, was the well. So did they dump this in the well and then it grew into this it's even coming through the walls here stone harden you oh that's good I like that stone harden you it's pretty funny go last no more time to waste I want to exhaust your dialogue dude stop saying new things off with you okay he's looping we're good the elevator key Oh, wow, that's the end of the level. Cool. So something cool about the original Half-Life is that, like, all the original Half-Life takes place about this, like, horrible, horrible, awful incident that, like, ruins the Earth. And you play as one guy who has a direct hand in the incident. And then in the episodes and expansions after that, everyone also has the incident. So, like, the incident happens for different times, you know? Like, for Adrian, I think it even happens before he gets there, and then it's just another explosion that crashes his chopper. And then Barney um, gets there before Gordon Freeman does, and he's, like, been at work for a little bit when the Resonance Cascade happens, and then Gina Cross and whatever the other ones is. But anyway, all the expansions for Half-Life want all... Oh, it's going great. They all happen around this one um, event. And like this, this is an event such like it, such like that is like the resonance cascade. And like it would be cool if I got 100 kills, right? I guess no um from the fire happened. Um, but anyway, so you have like um all these people who are doing things at different times, and sometimes you can even run past other uh, like player characters. And like it's a scripted event, of course, but there will be really cool moments where you can see. Uh, people run by and it's like oh that's a player character that's you know you can see Gordon Freeman as Adrian Shepard 
doing his his stuff, getting things done. Research and decay. R&D instead of research and development. It's fun. With a piercing metallic shrill, the lift plummeted into the abyss. It took no longer than seconds for a deafening thud to echo into Valk's deserted caves as the falling mass of iron came to a thundering halt. But anyway, yeah, if there are more expansions to this and they all take place around this one event, but you have different characters, that might make sense and it'd be pretty cool and clever. Um, groaning in pain, the half-orc warrior cupped her head, ears ringing with the sound of a violent landing. A few dusty coughs were all that would delay her now. At last, she is back into the mountain's bowels, close, close to the crystal heart, and even closer to the betrayer. Is there going to be, like, a twist about, like, no, the one we thought was the betrayer was actually the good one, and the one who was going to kill the betrayer is actually the bad one and the betrayer? spike gun because if that's the case like it's not going to impact me pretty deeply because like I don't exactly remember everyone's names <laughs> can I change this to nine it still leaves it up there that's okay oh and I'm 24 seconds on this level one moment everyone all right, sorry, just had to text my wife. All right, double pause over. Okay, so we just started here. Bloody note lies by the dead witch. Lilith has gone mad. She was behind the missing staff members and the dark slime. She's managed to make a grown expand. For how long has she been doing this? Chieftain Zura is nowhere to be found. Uh, and the text stops briefly. Humans warping in everywhere. We've been betrayed. We're falling back to Ice Peak. That didn't go out well. Sorry, guys. Hello? Ah, broken glass. My old... My old mentor, my guiding moonlight. Glass break. Getting a lot less of that one girl running around in Trilomi. We don't have the power. Hmm? No, we don't have need for a portal, I think it said. Sorry, I didn't actually read it. I just kind of blasted ahead there. So there's a portal. <sighs> Elevator to Ice Peak. Should have a gun ready, huh? Am I all loaded? Show sure enough. Research and Decay is a pretty baller name, I've got to say. <sighs> There we go. Oh, so these guys are like, oh, hey, go on in. That's the, uh, it's the gatekeepers. In a literal sense here, the gatekeepers are also girl bosses. That looks like the symbol for the game and for the end of levels. All right, so we got this door. Opens freely. That looks like app house. But yeah, Lith is the betrayer, I think. Zura is the chieftain. See, this is the problem, especially with having story in this, because, like, we've had to learn it entirely through notes, and, like, there's not even a picture to go with it. Oh, I can't drink it. I'm at full health. And there's a potion there. Well, I guess I'll come by when I've taken some damage, huh? Okay, so we got this. That's just a picture of a door. As is that. We've got that, and that opens. The left was where I came from. That's where that door leads. Crystal key. Okay. Lo loud and clear. I got you. Interesting texture for the floor. This reuses a lot of the colors that we've seen before, but the purple floor does mix it up. And then reflections? Hell yeah.
Hmm. What is... Are those just like light fixtures or is that broken? Okay. So we can go in through here. Still nothing. What is this? Is this like a testing thing? I'm gonna find out that the orcs were evil because I don't want them to be. Earth key, great. Functional and the bars won't budge. Blood. This is the area that we could see before, so maybe this leads to something. Earth key again. Maybe I've missed the earth key? Wait, I saw sparkles and didn't comment on it. They were earlier? They were in one of the rooms? All right. Yeah, there's something sparkling over there. I don't know it's, I don't think it's the earth key. But again, like neither of these doors open. And there's no door into that room, which is a, f oh, what now? Oh my God, I, I think I understand how it works. Oh, it just opens the wrong door when you flip the switch. Yeah, okay. Corrosive acid. Fun. Am I not carrying corrosive acid with me? Like, I've got this gun full of acid. Does that mean anything to you? Cool. Okay. We've now got three diverging before me. Oh, I can read these. Council room. Okay. Battle plans. That looks like Fort Ice Peak. And some toxic potions. Fungus grape cider. And an apple. Kitchen, by the looks of it. And a freezer. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Frag, frag. Oh, they're using it to power the water heater. That's funny. I literally just uh, put my uh, middle finger down a little too hard when I pushed the mouse. And there's this note. A lengthy briefing details the first phase of the Iron Division campaign. Before our covert squads are in position, the crystal light is given, the signal is given, the bulk of the forces will commence the assault. Using our newly researched toxic gas, the forward units will attack the pal palisades while the division advances and hinder the defenders. It's a known risk that the gas might spread within the outpost, but since the inhabitants, inhabitants are confirmed to be possessed, civilian casualties are more than acceptable. The assault is expected to be over in a few hours with no losses on our side. We do not expect the humans to be in any shape to defend themselves, let alone suspect our first strike, our sudden strike. It is likely that demons will become aware of our intentions as soon as we run our, their first batch of slaves through the blade. Therefore, the Lancer Council has instructed us to preserve as many resources to avoid Possible future logistic strains. So this was like a raid on humans, huh? Chieftain adjunct office. Earth key. Oh, that was simple. Wow. Uh, we which chieftain adjunct Lilith? Lith. Many of the final pages has been torn away. Day one eighty eight. No, no, no. That wretch Zora has denied my project. Dangerous. I would have expected anyone but her to say such an ineptitude. She was the one supposed to bring my ideas to the council. No, no, no. I will see the lancers. Again, um, I will see the Lancers myself tomorrow. They will see beyond the veil. Yes, they are much smarter than Zura. They do not fear the future. I cannot believe the feeling. Two weeks, two weeks, and they set off to their doom. They would rather throw themselves at death than take my plan into consideration. 
The first time I saw it in their eyes, yes, fear. They fear all my ideas. They fear the creation of the perfect warrior. Bioweapons. I guess that's the purpose of the table and the... With the little thing that someone can lay down on it. Uh... A warrior that would overthrow those weaklings. Zero knows it too. Oh, I understand now. That snake wants to steal my work and take Valk over. Uh, next day. Oh, the swine. She has the council to remain in Valk during the campaign for their, her weapon research. What a worthless lie. I can already feel her coming for my work. The voice, the sweet cure. I passed out while in the, working in the midst of dark fumes. Her words were soothing. An elf. and beautiful pale elf. I thought they had been all eradicated by the demons. She hated the demons with such a passion and been watching me for so long. The pages have been violently torn away. Jumps to six days later. It's been almost a week and Zara hasn't approached me. I have no time for her nonsense. Nithriel will help me fulfill my research. Yet yeah, she still talks to me in my dreams. Words so old and true. I can, if only, and only I can help her crush the demons while my ignorant sisters litter the battlefield. Nithriel is right. Today it all begins. Next day. They are beautiful and Zara hasn't noticed the missing goblins. No, she was not there to see my dear crawlers rise from their worthless flesh. I can already see them swarm hell itself like in the dreams. Interesting. So is this like a civil war going on? Like, is this hell and someone else? And we're caught in the middle. Valk Laboratories, no unauthorized personnel. Crystal key. All right, let's go smash that earth key into some things. Okay, this is just that other area. Yeah, see that table? That looks like a thing for somebody to lay on. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Hmm. Don't like this one bit. Very empty level so far. Hmm. There's a syringe here. Miscellaneous chemicals. Some bones. Corruption. There's a poo in there. Okay. And then the big corruption. Man, so somebody was snatched mid-dump. Is the implication that they didn't get to wipe? Because that's kind of gross. Okay. I guess we're going down here. Hmm. Okay. A oh, big lever, sure. Watered down bit of parchment is clinging to the moist stone. None of the fixes have shown up to work today. I don't recall being informed about their leave. The rest of the text is missing or illegible. Drain the water. Or fill the water. Oh, so we can swim across to the... Something? Well, what now? Hmm. Oh, these are like ladders, maybe? No? Okay, time to hit the walkthrough. Nope. Okay, check the walkthrough. Actually went a pretty long way without a walkthrough. We can close the door and let the water go up more. I didn't realize that the drain in there was what was stopping our progress. Okay. Lil's diary scattered under the dirty mattress. 202. So this is another day later? Maybe two days? I can hear them marching from here. Cluck, cluck, cluck. How dare they disturb my quiet sewer? They're leaving Valk. Oh, they're leaving Valk. The mighty iron division of their dim witted allies headed for the meat grinder. This means I can fulfill the next part of Nithriel's plan. The next sentences have been scratched off. I can finally spend more and more time on my work now that the clinic barely gets fed visitors. I've lost count of how many sleepless nights I toiled here in the dark. No dreams, yet I can still hear it. Her words guide me. Crawlers were a mere child's play. Time for me to create the perfect warrior. 
Third entry is almost a month apart. The writing looks shakier and harder to read. Uh, yeah, 28 days later. This is it. Zura knows for sure now. She's noticed my absence, so she knows for sure. She knows about those missing fixers, oh yes. She will have killed me as soon as I finish the project. Then she will claim it for herself. But Nithril knows too. Tonight Zura will bow to me. Then I shall leave to turn the parapet ward off. Enough dreams. Nithril wants to see me in person, and the crawlers aren't working fast enough for her. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like... Hello? What's happening? I guess it's a save, but that's the same... Oh, it damaged me. Damn. Those are eggs. Loud and clear. You know, I hope standing in this corruption is, like, fine. This is that one room that I wasn't able to get into before. I don't see anything down there that I want, so I'll keep going for now. I do see stuff in here, and I can get back up. A little fish. A little fish. So maybe I do have to go down in here? One more. Sorry, I got a text. Oh, this window's broken. Doy. Oop. Excuse me. Get some marching. Aw. It's a little, like, gross guy. Licky. In here is something. Ah, I see. It's like a little dumb waiter. So what are those, like, eggs for? What are they hatching? Okay, well, it looks like that's the way forward. Again, very low enemies. Axe key, door, cool. Crystal key. Have I been here? You. Okay, so they make a noise that you can listen for. That's something that'll definitely trip me up. Like at some point, I'm gonna be like mid fight, mid violence, and that noise is gonna happen. And I'm gonna be like, wait, isn't that the. And I'll be blown up. It's you. You guys. Oh, and the rats, they've been caged. Well, that's actually okay. Kerberos wines. So are these all like human cultists and like, oh shit, the humans invaded Earth. Or the humans invaded hell instead of the opposite way. Is that like the thing? They're freezing them in there. They wanted to use the frozen sprites again is what I'm seeing. Dead goblin, no. That's dire. So I gave her a toned stomach and perky boobs. A hunk of flesh. Awesome. Torn page from a recipe book. Potion of might. One, two, three, four. Violet peeling, six. Potion of haste. Lil's right over is distressed. Unequal heights and wisps between letters. All my sisters are dead now. This is another week later, I think. Nithril's powers are inspiring. She took Valk over in a mere few hours. And look what she's gifted me. My own stock of human slaves. Just what I needed to make the final adjustments. Ooh. So yeah, I guess those are humans. Maybe not these guys. I don't know if the horns are on their helmet or what, but helmets with horns actually aren't that great in the real world. <laughs> then again, you know, in the real world, you gotta wear armor or not like a bikini. If you're gonna fight, that is. There are times to wear a bikini, but it's typically not when you're going to have gunplay. Though I guess if your muscles are that, like, huge, that it doesn't really matter. So there's probably a button around here somewhere that I want to hit that'll, like, turn on, that'll open every door. What is this? Can I read this? Skim through the book for useful recipes. One of the pages has been torn away. 
One, two, vial of healing. Oh, this is the this is the book that the page was torn out of earlier. The the thing that we just read. Cool. Oh, if I put a bunch of shit on here. So I can turn stuff by putting my vials on there. That's okay, I don't need it. Okay, so now I guess I'm just looking for... Oh yeah, so that's supposed to be a light. I guess I'm just looking for um, a way to open these doors. Didn't think so. Okay. So much worse seeing like a gourd like violence like chunk in an area where there hasn't been open gunplay because it means a whole lot more, you know? Uh, so this is actually something that I'll be able to do next episode as well because uh, we're running up against 40 minutes. So next episode, uh, I'll figure this out, I guess. But I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you'll have a good day. Thank you for coming. Bye.